Hey, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today, I am gonna do another video on the Craig Jig. I did one last week on how to set it up, uh, but there's another really cool feature uh, for the one, this particular one here that you can use if you need to put pocket holes in a spot where you cannot get this whole rig in. Also, I'm gonna talk about a fellow YouTube channel, The Art of Doing. Uh, swing over to his channel. He has some similar content as me, as well as some other stuff. And also, I'll put a link to in the description on a video he did on a different model Craig Jig if you're interested in seeing some other options out there. Uh, but let's get into today's video, and then we'll talk more about that a little bit later. So this particular kit is the one I bought, and it has a couple additional things that some of the other ones don't have. One, um, you can get all different kits with different accessories, uh, but mine did come with this clamp. This clamp can be used for uh, several different things, whether you're trying to clamp down two uh, joints to make sure they stay flush, um, but also it can be used for what I'm gonna show you today, and that is using the pocket hole jig in areas that are too tight to fit this or where you can't bring your work to your workstation. So uh, that's what we're gonna show you a little bit today. So if you're interested in the setup of this, uh, I'll also put a link to that video in the description as well that I did last week, or you can just search the channel, you'll find it. I was talking last week about how you set this up, this piece here, for the depth you need. Now, if you notice, and I'll get in a little bit closer here for you, there is a space here when you do a uh, three quarter wood is a typical typically what I work with uh, and probably many of you too three quarter thick wood so you set that setting at the three quarter mark and once you've done that there is a space under here so uh, that is so so you drill the hole at the right depth and you don't go through the three quarter wood so when you are taking this and you are using it uh, in a spot that you can't use this whole jig typically it's gonna be three quarter inch wood. Uh, in most cases, not all. If not, then you do have to do something a little bit different and get a different space, I'm gonna talk about that. But you can see that space right there, hopefully you can see that, is the thickness of this spacer block right here that happened to come with my kit. And you can get different uh, thicknesses of these. And what that does is, uh, when you put your wood in here, the wood is flat against this base and you drill your hole. Once you take this out, you've lost that, that reference point, that space. So if you were to putting it up against a piece of wood, such as this here, if you put it right to the edge like this, you're gonna drill too deep because that would be representing this sitting on there and this being all the way down. That's where this comes in. You take this and it will slide on here if I get it in the right direction and locks in place just like that. Now you've added that spacer block. So then you would take and set this against the edge of your wood, just like that. And then this is also where the clamp comes in. Let's put that on here. It'll adjust it. Now you can go ahead and drill your pocket holes. They'll be the right depth because you have your spacer block in there and it's gonna hold it in place and you don't need this whole thing. So you can take this to a remote location, something you're working on and get a pocket hole jig in, uh, a pocket hole drilled into a spot that you might not be able to with this. I think I showed this clamped on a piece of work somewhere, uh, which you can do in some cases, but there are many times that that is just too big and that's where this comes in handy. Uh, so let me just kind of show you a situation where this would really work well besides just here on the bench. Uh, but before we do that, let me just call out uh, Ben's channel again. Make sure you, he's a small YouTuber. Uh, I'm a small YouTuber too. Uh, so I always, we like to try to help each other out. He was kind enough to send me out this shirt, which is a really neat design. It's the art of doing and it's practice the art. You know, uh, so his channel talks about a lot of different things. Uh, some different things than my channel does so go ahead and check it out but he also does some handyman type stuff as well as some craig jigs and uh doing uh, things like that if you're interested in chicken coop he has uh, a lot of videos on building a chicken coop as well and uh, something i think that's how i stumbled across his channel because i was thinking about getting chickens and uh, he answered a couple questions for me or something like that if i remember correctly so uh, show him some love let him know that i sent you over there that is the art of doing subscribe to his channel check it out if you like it Leave some comments for them. All right, let's get into where we can use this in tighter locations 
but you cannot always use this. All right, so here's a good example right here, um, or a decent example. This is just a leg to uh, the planer uh, table, uh, I mean, sorry, the joiner table. And let's just say the table thing broke loose from the leg and it had to, I wanted to put some pocket holes in here to reattach that. Um, I certainly can't flip this thing all up. I mean, I got, you can see we got a, uh, a joiner clamp down to this thing. It's gonna be way heavy to pick it up and flip it over, put it on a bench, take it all apart and like that. And it would be impossible to get this thing in there because it would have to be upside down like this. You just, you can't get it in there, obviously to uh, put screws up inside to go up into the table this way. However, if you take this, like I showed you, in this case, put the block on, doesn't matter. Again, this is not the best example, but I'm just trying to show you a position where you would not be able to get the main unit in, but you could get this in. So then you can take and set this right against here, like so. Take your clamp, clamp in the position. Of course, now this clamp is adjustable. So hopefully I'm showing that. Loosening this up, clamp that in place. And of course, with this stuff out of the way, I can then run uh, the drill bit right up through in the back side of this leg and then go ahead and put a screw up in, reattaching this table to this leg. Uh, so that's just one kind of a quick example that you can use this for outside of the main uh, unit here that would uh, typically be used on a workbench. To remove it, same thing, you just got your clamp here. I hold on to the block so it doesn't drop and just pop this open like so. And then you just take this down and then you're ready to put your screws in. All right, so once you're done and you're back in your shop, you just, this to take this off, this does go on fairly hard, which is good. You don't want it to be loose and flopping around but you just kind of give that a push and the spacer block will come back off. Then you can return this back into your base unit. Uh, like I said, there is several of these, uh, there's several different options out there and there's several different packages. Uh, I know we have another one that's just like this that did not come with the clamp. Uh, there is one other thing I want to show you too. If you did not get the clamp or you have because uh, I think you can buy just this block or something something similar to it without this whole unit if you don't think you're ever going to be using it in your shop. And what you can do for that, if you don't have this um, clamp there, you can just use um, any clamp here, really, just a regular clamp. Once you get to where you're going to be using this unit, you can just take this, set it on here. Obviously, it doesn't matter about the space because I'm not going to do any drilling. And then you can just clamp this like so. And you, it's, it's just as functional like this. Uh, mine just happened to come with this too. When I picked it out, it came with the clamp. And I mainly use this for uh, clamping two boards together to keep the, the uh, joints nice and even. Uh, so you can definitely use a clamp like this for this portable unit as well. Uh, so that's great if you didn't have, have, didn't have uh, this with yours. I will put a link in the description for um, this kit or maybe just a page on Amazon that has a lot of the Craig uh, options out there. But this particular one, this is what it came with, plus a, a, some sample screws and some sample plugs for plugging the pocket holes, which I just don't use. It came with your, your drill bit, your um, drive unit, the drive bit for driving your square uh, screws in, the portable piece with the three quarter inch spacer um, adapter so you can use it on three quarter inch wood remotely. The base unit, uh, the vacuum thing which I talked about in the last video for uh, setting this up and sucking the dust out of here as well as the clamp. Uh, and then we just got a box like this that we just keep it all in as well as some extra screws and some extra um, bits that we bought separately. So I'll put a link for this in the description. Also, like I said, don't forget to check out uh, Ben's channel, The Art of Doing. He has a video on a Craig jig that's uh, quite a bit different than this one that might work fine for you, uh, depending on your application. And also uh, let him know that Shane's Main Shop sent you over there. I hope you found this video helpful. Ben, I want to thank you for the shirt. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to hopefully working with you on some other videos in the future as well. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.